given out wings. What? You know, every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. No, you're a jackass. No, it... It's, it's a thing. It, it's. That's right, guys. This week, we're taking it back to the building and loan. That's right. We're talking about It's a Wonderful Life. Now, this movie was directed by Frank Capra. It was based on the short story, The Greatest Gift. This movie starred Jimmy Stewart, Donna Reed, Lionel Barrymore, and Henry Trevers. And it was uh, also nominated for Best Picture. But here's the thing, it is one of, uh, it is one of our favorite Christmas movies to date. But during its release, during 1946, it was a big old. That's right, it was a flop, a goose egg, a dud, a zero. So the basic plot of this movie is. Is George Banks has wanted nothing more than to leave Bedford Falls in his dust since he could walk. And he's just about getting ready to leave. Then what happens? Dad has a stroke. And evil Mr. Potter wants to put the family business out of business. But the board says, hey, you know what? We'll go ahead. We'll keep it going. One condition. George sticks around and runs things. So, so George gets stuck. Yeah. And it doesn't get any easier from that. Easier from there. He keeps trying to leave. It doesn't. He couldn't even get out of town for his honeymoon. That's it. That's how hard it is for George Banks to leave Bedford Falls. I mean, and it just it just seems like it doesn't get any easier. Or any easier. There's not a lot happening for George. I mean, you know, he gets a couple things. You know, he gets married. He gets a couple rugrats. For the most part, you're thinking, oh, this poor guy. Nothing ever goes his way. Nothing seems to work well for him. And then, what happens? Uncle Billy has a little financial mishap with some of the company's funds. And George thinks, eh, well, you know, maybe it wouldn't be so bad if I just checked out. And that's where Clarence comes in. Clarence, our angel without any wings. And Clarence goes, hey, George, check it out. All right. Why don't you take a look at something? Look at how crappy everybody else's lives are if you're not born. They're not even in Bedford Falls anymore. They're in Pottersville. And so George realizes, you know, you know, maybe it wasn't so bad after all. But, you know, you don't get that till like the last five minutes of the movie. That's the thing that really gets to me about this movie is it's a lot of buildup. The movie is nothing but buildup. I mean, they just make it really hard on, on George the entire movie. Then the last five minutes, you find you finally find out he didn't have such a bad life after all. And, you know, I honestly don't think you could do that today. I don't think you could pitch a movie that was nothing but disappointment and buildup and then last five minutes payoff. So, uh, but yeah. But, um, if you've never seen the movie, first off, where the hell have you been? Honestly. How have you not seen this movie? Second of all, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. You won't be disappointed. Like, it's like, it's, it's in the top 100 American movies ever made. I think it comes in at like number 18 or 8 or I don't know. There's an 8 in there somewhere. I don't, I don't know. But yeah. Go ahead. Check it out. And uh, oh. Um, got probably Saturday I have a special new episode coming out. So two episodes this week. Alright guys. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you after Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.